Practice for section 5.3. Identify each motion as a translation, a reflection, or a rotation. Pretty simple. We're taking this figure and moving it onto this figure. Notice how the arrows kind of show you we're sliding it. That's a translation. This figure is going to move to that figure. We're rotating it. This figure, we're taking it and flipping it over a line. That's what those that motion is indicated by that, those marks there. So this is a reflection. The bottom portion, we're taking this figure, and notice how we're rotating it to make it look like this. They're telling you that this quadrilateral, A, B, C, D, maps to this quadrilateral, W, X, Y, Z. You can certainly use the picture, but if you have a statement, they're telling you that A goes with W and B goes with X, so on and so forth. It's way easier and way better and way more efficient to use the statement than it is to use the picture. Which angle corresponds to angle D? Well, here's D. It goes with Z. So the answer is going to be angle Z. Which side corresponds to segment XY? XY goes with segment BC. Name the image of point A. Here's point A. The image of it would be point W. Name the image of segment AD. That image would be segment WZ. Which vertex of this figure, ABCD, corresponds to point Y? Point Y goes with point C. Name the side that corresponds to segment AB. Segment WX.